Connie, everybody knows that your business is running hotels, perhaps more hotels and bigger hotels and more interesting hotels than anybody else in the world. But uh, I bet they don't know that you didn't start out to be a hotel man, did you? Conrad Hilton is the founder of the Hilton Family of Hotels, a company that now owns over 500 properties around the world. But it didn't start that way. Hilton started in the early 1900s with no money, made it through the Great Depression, lost everything that he built, and then turned it into an empire. In this video, I wanna cover his 10 rules of success from his biography, Be My Guest, and go over some of his backstory. I'm Alex Berman. Let's start with this story he told about how he made his first dollar. I went down to buy a bank right after the war, uh, 1919, in a little town in Cisco, Texas. And uh, the banker had agreed to, to sell me this little small bank, and then he raised me $5,000. That made me mad, and I was staying at this hotel, and I happened to ask the hotel proprietor how much money he was making, and, and he told me he was making a lot of money. So I says, I'd like to buy your hotel. Here's where I don't become a banker, and I'm going to become a hotel man. All right, let's jump into it. Rule number one, find your own particular talent. Conrad Hilton was a big believer in the fact that everybody was good at one specific thing. Uh, his was managing hotels down to the dollar. And he did it during the Great Depression. And then, of course, along came the Depression. You had seven or eight hotels, but by working very hard, doing the best you could, cutting all the corners and everything else, as I recall it, you finally wound up only owing $500,000 and no income. That's right. <laughs> this is the story of success, but you got to know the rough bumps that Connie took as he went along, too. Conrad Hilton's rule number two was be big. He believed that expanding as far as possible and making yourself appear as large as possible would make your business as set up for success as it possibly could be. And he did that uh, by owning as many hotels as possible. Rule number three was be honest. Conrad Hilton wasn't a big fan of lying and he believed in honesty in all things. Number four was live with enthusiasm. He believed in laughing, he believed in taking a hold of the day and just being enthusiastic at all times. Rule number five was don't let your possessions possess you. Uh, he, according to this belief, didn't believe in material things, although he did own a bunch of hotels, so who knows if he's even living up to this standard himself. Rule number six is don't worry about your problems. It's a fairly straightforward rule. Rule number seven is look up to people when you can and down to no one. Uh, this is going back to what a lot of successful people say. It's important to have mentors. Um, and he also believes in looking down on no one. So uh, even the busboy or even the um, person handling bags at a hotel uh, could be an asset. And in fact, Conrad Hilton borrowed money from one of his hotel uh, busboys during the Great Depression. You know, that depression was pretty bad. You remember, right, don't you? Yes. I, I remember one day that I borrowed uh, $300 from one of my bellboys. In which hotel was this? That was in Dallas. Uh, Eddie Fowler was his name. He had more money than I did. <laughs> this was a Hilton hotel and he's borrowed money from the bellboys. <laughs> Rule number eight is don't cling to the past. Conrad Hilton believed in always moving forward and pushing towards the future. Rule number nine is assume your full share of responsibility in the world. Uh, Conrad Hilton didn't believe in being handed things. Um, didn't believe in taking handouts. He believed in working for every dollar he made. Um, it's actually really surprising that his grandkids turned out the way he did. Uh, actually, when I was Googling around for this documentary, uh, I found very few videos on this Conrad Hilton and most on Conrad Hilton, uh, who's his grandson, who's running around apparently beating people up and uh, going on drunken rampages. These didn't pass through uh, successfully to his grandkids, unfortunately. And finally, rule 10 is pray consistently and confidently. I'm not a religious person myself, but back in the day, he believed in having a mission praying to the higher power and consistently praying. Uh, Conrad Hilton is known to have prayed every single day, multiple times a day, and he even went to church uh, every week. Those are Conrad Hilton's 10 rules for success, and I'll leave you with this video on how he raised money. You bought your first one in what town was it? Uh, a little town uh, called Cisco, Texas. Uh, Cisco, Texas, called the Mobley Hotel. By the way, where'd you get your money to buy this hotel? Well, I had a little money. I had, uh, as I recall, about uh, $5,000, and... Uh, I got $5,000 from my mother, and I met uh, two friends, and they put in 5000 each. And then I went over across the street to a bank, and I borrowed uh, the rest of the money that I needed. 
Thanks for watching the video. If you like this style or if you want to see more of these videos, feel free to subscribe. I also do cold email teardowns and other uh, concepts related to B2B selling. Uh, here are two videos I did in the past. One is an email teardown that I did a couple weeks ago, and one is a little bit older video about how to reduce your sales cycle down to 20 minutes. Uh, if you need leads for your B2B company, check out inspirebeats.com. Otherwise, I will talk to you later.